Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. So in today's video we will be doing a reverse French using polygel. So if you want to see how it's done then just keep watching. So for this tutorial I'm going to be using a new lamp to cure all the polygel products and it is the Melody Susie lamp. So I will be doing a full review at the end of this video so if you want to see how I found this lamp then stay tuned to the end. But I'm going to be using the Madame Glam Poly Gel and I've got two colours which is Lily of the Valley which is the white and Rose Pink which is our cover pink for the nail bed. I'm also going to be using the Madame Glam Paddle and Brush for Poly Gel. This is so handy to have because it makes your life so much easier just having both tools in one. You will also need the Madame Glam Base Gel, this is their base gel polish. So after cleansing off your natural nails, if you're doing these on natural nails as an overlay, I've got tips on my nails, so I'm just applying the base gel over the natural nail and over the tip, applying one coat of this and then curing in my lamp for 30 seconds so that the nail is ready for the poly gel to go over top. I'm then taking the rose pink poly gel from Madame Glam and using the spatula end of my brush and squeezing out a bit of that poly gel, scraping it off and then applying to the nail. Next you get your brush and you start patting and pushing this product into place. You will need to dip your brush into some alcohol, that is what is recommended to use for this system. So you dip your brush into alcohol to wet the brush to allow yourself to manoeuvre the poly gel around without your brush sticking to the poly gel. So dip your brush into the alcohol and then I like to drain off one side of the brush so that the brush isn't too fully saturated with liquid. If you have a really wet brush that will lead to your product lifting and things like that. You don't want it to be too wet, just enough so your brush doesn't stick to the poly gel. So then you just move and pat and push this poly gel into place. It is quite a firm consistency and it's really super easy to use because it has no setting time so you can move it about as much as you want before you put it in the lamp to cure to set into place. So the way I create my nail bed is I work around the cuticle area first and then I go in with my brush around the sides of the nail bed to create and perfect the shape that I want. You could have a longer nail bed, you can have a shorter nail bed, you can have a more narrow nail bed, exactly how you want it to be. Just create your nail bed by using your brush and pushing up the sides to create a wall as this is what you will butt the white poly gel up to to create your smile line. I have left all of my application and filing and everything in this video in real time so you can get an idea of how quickly I work and how you can leave the poly gel for so long without curing and you can just keep manoeuvring it around. So that's what I love about poly gel is you have no time limits and it's really easy to move about and it doesn't run off the nail or anything like that. So that is one of the main benefits of poly gel, you can really perfect your shape. So again I'm just going round and making sure I'm happy with the shape and doing it on both nails. I'm showing you one coffin and one almond shaped nail so you can see what it looks like on both. Curing that in the lamp for 60 seconds and then I'm just cleansing off the inhibition layer before we go into file and refine. So I'm using a 150 grit nail file, you can use a 180 grit file as well, either will be perfect and I'm just using the file to go around the edge to perfect that shape. Do not use your file and press down on the natural nail or the tip, you don't need to do that, you just push against the wall of nail bed poly gel you've created. And then I'm going over and refining the shape on the apex of the poly gel I've applied, getting around the cuticle area to make it nice and flush. So I need to think about where the apex is because you need to make sure you're getting that structure in when you create this nail bed because when you add the white, that is it, you're not capping. So you need to make sure you get that structure and apex and strength in when you apply the poly gel cover pink bead. And then when you're filing and shaping, bear that in mind too. So I'm just gonna quickly scrub over the nails, make sure I get rid of all the dust and have a really good look at the nails from all angles and I'm just showing you here you can see that wall of poly gel that I've created and the thickness and apex is still in the correct position. So on to the next step we're going in with the white poly gel. I'm taking a bead of this poly gel and applying it to the end of the nail and I used way too much white poly gel for this nail because I wanted to show you how easy it was to remove any excess products you don't need and not waste. So as you can see 
see there, I'm just scraping off that excess poly gel I don't need and using it and moving it onto the next nail I'll be working on. I really like this element of poly gel, you get very little waste and you can use all the product. So I'm just using my brush again, making sure I've dipped in that alcohol and drained off some product and pushing and patting into place. Now you will notice with the Madame Glam poly gel, the consistency is slightly different. It is less firm than the cover pinks from Madame Glam. I noticed that it was slightly more soft and stuck to my brush a little bit more. What I found really helped with this is to keep a little bit more of that alcohol liquid in the brush and that stops it sticking to your brush. So that's one little bit of advice I can give you if you're using the white poly gel from Madame Glam. Apart from that, it worked perfectly. It cured really well. White is a hard colour to get right, especially for gels and curing in the lamp because it's so pigmented, but it cured so fabulously. I was really happy with the end result. So this is all in real time again and I'm going to show you how you can take a little bit more product off if you found you've added too much. So I'm just refining that shape, trying to get a good coffin shape so that when I come to filing I don't have too much filing to do. But as you can see here it's so easy to just scrape off the end bit of excess product and then you've got a nice shape. So there the two nails done and I cured that in my lamp for 60 seconds and again I'm going in and cleansing off the sticky layer so that they are ready for filing. Now we're gonna go in with the filing routine. This is the same as what I do with any nail I'm filing. So I go in on side wall, side wall, free edge. Then I go around the cuticle area, but because we have already refined that cuticle area when we applied the nail bed bead, I didn't have to do too much work around that area, which was nice. So it was a nice quick whip around the cuticle area, making sure it's nice and flush. Then I'm gonna use the belly of the nail file and file across the surface of the nail and you will start to see the white poly gel file away and reveal the nail bed and it is so satisfying I don't know if I'm the only one leave in the comments if you find this as well I just find it so satisfying seeing that pink crisp line appear through filing away that white poly gel and then it's just so crisp and pretty and it's like magic I love it so satisfying and it just creates a perfect crisp finished look. This method works so well for getting a really pristine French look. So I'm now going in and dusting off any excess dust and checking over that nail, making sure I'm happy with the smile line. And once I'm happy, I'm just gonna finish off the other nail so you can kind of get an idea of what it would look like on an almond nail as well. And I'm gonna go in with a buffing block and buff over both the nails and then dust off any excess dust so that we're ready to go in with our top coat. Once you are done applying your top coat, you are all finished. That is the nail completed. I just apply one layer of top coat and cure it in my lamp for 60 seconds. Leave it to cool and then apply my cuticle oil to finish off the service. And this is the finished result. I love a classic French look. It is so elegant. And by doing it in the reverse French method, by applying that nail bed area first, you create a really crisp clean look it's beautiful and also by using the poly gel it is so easy to do so now going on to my quick Melody Suzy EOS 3 LED and UV nail lamp review this is the lamp that I used for this video and what I used to cure all the poly gel and everything like that so I gave it a really good test it cured poly gel and gel base coat and top coat so I got a real feel for how the lamp worked and how well it cured and penetrated through the white poly gel and the nail bed and top coat the lamp came really well packaged in this box and then it came with a couple of different leaflets. So the first one is the user manual. So if you're not familiar with how most LED lamps work, you can read in there and it will tell you exactly how to use it and more info. And then this is all their social media info, so feel free to 
wind back and screenshot that info if you want to find out a little bit more they also come with a plug so you have a plug and it came with a really nice long cable which is good so if your plugs further away from your nail desk it will still reach which is perfect and I have a UK plug so the actual lamp came in a little foam bag which is perfect it protects it and I chose to have the black melody Susie lamp and it is a 48 watt lamp they have it also in white and they very kindly sent this to me for review for you guys I couldn't wait to get it out of the box and try it out and see how it worked and I've got to say I'm really really impressed so you plug it in at the back here and then you can also see you have a gap here so you can see straight through to where the hand would be put into the lamp it has a really nice big opening and you can take the top of the lamp off to take the base away so if you're using this for feet and for pedicures you can put it on the floor without the base and as you can see here there are places for you to rest your fingers it has engraved bits in so it's really easy for the client to feel where they need to place their hands and you get a little bit of an idea here of where the lights are so it's really good curing for those thumbs because it has those extra lights on either side so once you plug it in the LED screen comes up and you have loads of different settings on the top so the first one is the 90 second setting and it has light sensors so when you put your hand in the light comes on automatically or you can press it yourself and turn the lamp on so it has multiple settings you've got 15 30 60 seconds and 90 seconds which is the low heat mode and when you put your hand in it counts down so it goes down from 60 60 to 59 to 58 and so on and so forth I really love how it's got the little engraved sections so you know exactly where you're placing both hands this will ensure for the perfect cure and getting that good hand placement I love that it has the screen showing the numbers counting down so you have an idea as a nail tech how long you've got until the hand is ready to come out and then it's just a really sleek nice lamp it looks beautiful and it cured everything perfectly Perfectly. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out and follow me on my Instagram at Isabel May Nails and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!